it's uh, Christmas, which means I'm in my pyjamas all day, uh, which is great. And I've done a bit more work on my Raspberry Pi car. Um, I brought it to a Raspberry Pi jam at Leicester Square last month. Um, unfortunately, the SD card wiped itself about 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I wanted to show it off at 7. So, anyway, I reinstalled the operating system and then wrote all the software for it on the train on the way up, which is about 45 minutes. And uh, this is pretty much what I did that night. I just haven't had a chance to do anything with it yet. Um, it's a bit tidier now and uh, I'll show you what it's up to. So uh, this is the car. It's uh, got a nice logo on there. As you can probably tell it's all HTML5 and it's got a Raspberry Pi on there. Uh, there's the board set on top with the servo controller. All a bit tidier. And I'll just plonk it here. So you can see it's a bit of a tidier package than it was before. Um, what else have we got? So, a bit more detail. We've got the speed controller, um, Raspberry Pi with TP Link access point plugged in, um, and the custom speed, con well, servo controller on top as well. Um, the whole thing's running off the 7.2 volt battery at the moment, and the speed controller, luckily, is giving us 5 volts output, which is uh, powering the whole lot. And I've got that logged on to the access point on my phone here. And I've also got another computer also on the access point giving us some stats about what it's up to. So, uh, let's see what it does. So, uh, normal iPhone, car, and just so it doesn't go off flying anywhere, I'm going to stick it on top of this. And let's see what we can do. So... Get the phone, uh, fire up the web browser, uh, just see if I can focus a bit better, that's better, web browser, uh, see if I can fit the... and as you can see the gyro in the phone is now controlling the car, it's got forwards, backwards, and it's quite quick, I'm fairly happy with it, it's only using some basic Apache code, and this hasn't been refined, there's no safeguards or anything, but it seems to work alright. Um, the phone's display is giving outputs, let's see if I can focus on this, back from the car, as I tilt the phone, you can see it, let's see if I can get all this in in one go, some degrees. Um, and now I probably ought to have a quick go with it. I'm not sure how I'm going to demonstrate this without it with enough hands, but let's have a, give it a go. Put that over there. Now on the floor. And then. Oh shit. Phone. Two. Uh, so what's happened there is the speed controller has drawn too much power. Uh, the Raspberry Pi has decided to reboot, and without any other commands, nobody knows what's going on. So we're just going to have to let it boot up and see what happens. Hopefully, the Wi-Fi will come back on, which it is, and hopefully it will log on to my phone shortly. And we'll be able to take over again. So uh, something quite interesting happened there. It kind of uh, went a bit crazy. And that's because there's no security or software controls in there at the moment to stop it going mad. Um, yeah, one of the problems, I suppose, is the voltage drop off the battery. is causing the Raspberry Pi to restart um, basically when too much current's drawn. So I'm going to get a power supply for it, make it a bit more watertight. Um, at the moment I've just plugged it back into the computer to power it up um, and then probably put a few safety features in so after a second of no signal being received the servos come to a stop or at least the motor comes to a stop um, and then the only other improvement I can imagine adding to it is a camera with some streaming to the app in the, in the, on the phone 
Um, and probably, I, pro I was looking at thinking about doing a 3G sort of uh, a 3G add-on so I can drive it a lot further, but there's probably not much point. I'll save that for the quadcopter project later in the year. Um, and that's probably going to be enough for this car, I think. Um, I might write the web server in Node.js to and try and get the um, the speed at which the sort of signals move back and forth a bit quicker. Uh, apart from that, I'm quite pleased with it. Uh, can do some interesting things with the gyro. You put the phone on it. <laughs> uh, the time it takes for the signals to get back and forth again causes a funny little reaction here. <laughs> you can probably see the phone trying to throw itself off as the gyro reacts and then there's a second delay. Um, but yeah, good. I'm uh, happy with that. Next project.